Hey, this is Chris Nelson from Go Engineer, and this is just a super quick video about using the Modify Dimensions option for quickly creating multiple configurations without needing to use design tables. So right now I have this fully defined part that is an extruded rectangle with a cut in the middle made by a slot. And the first thing we want to do in order to make these configurations is just select part of the model so your dimensions appear. Once that happens, select one of your dimensions and right click and click this configure dimension button. Once that happens, you will get this table and you can see that it shows you which each measurement is. So right now we are in sketch one and the D2 measurement is 100, which matches up with this table. If we double click this one right here, this is the D1 measurement, but because this is part of the extrude, it'll be in its own little category, boss extrude one. And then if we click the other D1 right here, this will be the D1 for the sketch. Also, we can add features too. So if I select this right here and double click, it will add cut extrude one. And we can choose whether or not we would like to suppress this feature. Now we can make multiple configurations. So if we click right here, we can type in the new name. I'm gonna call this second one config two. Once that happens, hit enter, and you will have an identical set of values. However, we can change these values to whatever we would like. So I want to change the D2 value, which is the dimension running along this plane right here, and change it from 100 to 75. Next, I want to change the D1 value of the sketch, which is running this way, from 150 to 125. Lastly, I want to suppress the cut. Once that happens, we can click OK, and it will save this new configuration. Nothing has changed in our current screen, but that's because we are still at the default configuration. By going to your configuration manager tab right here, we can click this and click config2. If we double click it, it will change the dimensions to match up with config2. This technique can be used for any part and for any assembly. And while it's very simple, it is really effective for quickly helping your project. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the SolidWorks tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our online training courses at Go Engineer.